Hello everyone. Today we are going to walk through setting up Dial My Calls for the first time. In this video we will verify a phone number to use as your caller ID, add contacts, create recordings, and then set up a voice, text message, and email broadcast. We will also discuss our detailed reports and briefly go over our premium features, recurring messages, two-way texting, and vanity numbers. Let's go ahead and get started. When you log into your account, you will be presented with your dashboard. Your dashboard will display any upcoming broadcasts you may have as well as broadcasts that have been completed. On the right hand side, you will see your active services as well as our premium services that you can add to your account at any time. The first thing you will need to do if you're going to be sending out voice broadcasts is to verify the caller ID number you'll be using. Click on the My Account icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen and then click on Verified Phone Numbers slash Caller IDs. To verify a caller ID, simply add a nickname for your number and then put in the phone number you'd like to use and our system will immediately give you a call. Enter the four digit confirmation code given during the call and click verify. Now that your number is verified, we are ready to move on and add contacts into our account. Click on the contacts tab at the top of your screen. Let's go ahead and add contacts to your account. First things first, you are able to create contact groups to help organize all of your phone numbers. Click on the Add Group button to add a new contact group. Once you are done adding all of your groups, you can view them by clicking on the Groups tab. With your contact groups created, it's now time to add your contacts into Dial My Calls. Users have three options to choose from when it comes to adding contacts into Dial My Calls. The first option is to manually add individuals into an account. The second option allows users to copy and paste a list of 10 digit phone numbers. Keep in mind that you cannot add additional information to contacts such as name and email when using this option. The third option is the most popular and it is the upload option. Upload an Excel file directly into Dial My Calls quickly and easily. Let's go ahead and add an individual contact to your account. Click on the manually add option and a pop-up will appear. You can now enter last name, first name, miscellaneous, and then the 10 digit phone number as well as the contact's email address. The only required information here is the 10 digit phone number. Down at the bottom you can choose the group you'd like to add the contact to. Once you're done, click save and close and your contact will now appear in your account. Click on the Add Contacts button and let's also take a look at the Upload option. Click on Upload List and then select the Excel file that contains your contacts. You will now see a pop-up as well as a preview of your list. Above each column you will see a drop-down menu. Click on those menus to assign the data to each column. In this demo we will assign first name, last name, phone number, and email. Keep in mind that the only required data is a column with 10 digit phone numbers. The rest is completely optional. Down below you will see the option to add your list to a contact group as well. Once you are done, click on import this list. The current upload status of your list will be displayed and once it reaches 100% you can close out that box and view all of the contacts that were just uploaded into your account. It's now time to add a recording to your account. Click on the recordings tab at the top of your screen to continue. Dial My Calls offers four different options when it comes to recording a message to send to your contacts. Customers can create a message by recording over the phone, uploading an MP3 or WAV file, using our text-to-speech tool, or by calling into our phone-in system. Our most popular option for recording messages is our Record by Phone option. Click on Record Message and then you will be asked to type in a message name and your phone number. Our system will call you immediately and will walk you through creating your message right over the phone. Your recording will be instantly available once you complete the process. Do you have your own voice talent or professional recording software? Click on Upload File to upload your own recording. Our system supports both MP3 and WAV file formats. Another popular option is to use our text-to-speech tool. Click on text-to-speech to open up the dialog to create a new recording. Our tool allows you to type out a message, select English or Spanish, as well as a male or female voice. Dial My Calls will then instantly convert your text into an audio file to send out to your contacts. 
Our system recommends that your recording be at least 15 seconds in length, and you can see here that the text-to-speech recording we just made has an error message displayed next to it. Let's go ahead and create a second text-to-speech recording that is at least 15 seconds in length that we can use to send out to our contacts. Now that we have our contacts and recording added, let's go ahead and set up a new broadcast. Click on New Broadcast at the top of your screen. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our first broadcast. Once you click on New Broadcast, you'll see the option to send out a voice, text, and email broadcast. Down at the bottom, you'll also see the ability to send out a free call broadcast. This is to allow you to utilize our service before purchasing credits or a monthly plan. For this demo, we're going to go ahead and send out a voice, text, and email at the same time. Once you've selected those, click on the next button. Now it's time to select the contacts you'd like to receive your message. You can select contacts that you've already added, or next to the select all my contacts there is a plus sign to add additional contacts. Select your contact and then hit next. Now we're going to set up our call broadcast. First thing you're going to want to do is select the caller ID that your recipients will see when they receive your message. Once you've selected the caller ID, you have the option to add our additional features to your call. You can add push to opt out, which allows them to opt out of future calls, push to leave a message, which allows them to leave you a message and it will appear in your account, polling, which allows you to ask a question and they can key in a response, push to talk allows them to connect to a live representative, and then push to repeat allows them to repeat the message. If you don't want to add any of these features, click on Next. It's now time to select the recording that you want to send to your contacts. Listed will be all of the recordings you've already made in your account, or you can click on the Add Recording button to create a new one. Once you've selected your recording, go ahead and click on Next. It's now time to set up your text message broadcast. The first thing you're going to want to do is select the keyword that will be used when your texts are sent to your recipients. The keyword is going to be your unique identifier and how your recipients know who the text message is coming from. All text messages sent through Dial My Calls will come from our short code, which is 80123. Your keyword will then be displayed in parentheses within the text message. Once you've selected the keyword, go ahead and type out your text message. Once you've typed out your text message, you do have the ability to save the text for later using our template system. Simply click on Save Messages Template at the bottom. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Next. The final broadcast that we're going to set up is the email broadcast. Go ahead and type out a brief message that you would like your recipients to receive to the email addresses that you have on file. Once you're done, go ahead and click Next. You have three different options when it comes to sending out your broadcast. You can send it immediately by clicking on Send Now, schedule it for a later date and time by clicking on Send Later, or you can set up a recurring message by clicking on Recurring. Down at the bottom you will also notice that you can name the broadcast. This is for your records and so you can easily find the report for specific broadcasts. Clicking on Send Now will send the message to all of your contacts immediately. Clicking on Send Later will pop up a menu that allows you to schedule your broadcasts for a later date and time. Recurring messaging is an additional feature for Dial My Calls users. It requires credit users to set up auto replenish or a monthly plan to agree to overage terms. Once the terms are agreed to, you will then see the options to set up a recurring message. Recurring messages can be set up to go out daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. You can also choose the date at which point in time the recurring messages will stop, or you can have them stop after a certain amount of occurrences. For this demo, we're going to go ahead and send the message out immediately. So click on Send Now, and then click the Next button. Go ahead and review all of the information that is about to be sent out, and if everything looks good, click on Send Broadcast Now. 
Your broadcast has now been set up. Down at the bottom you will see Share Your Message Online, which will generate a social media link for you to share the broadcast on your social media profiles. With all broadcasts that are sent through Dial My Calls, a detailed report will be created. Click on Reports at the top and you will see every broadcast that has gone out. Clicking on the broadcast name will bring up the report for each individual broadcast. Let's go ahead and view a report for the call broadcast that we just sent out. At the top, you'll have the recording that was sent to your recipients. Then you'll have the statistics for that broadcast below. You will then see a Generate CSV Report button, which allows you to download this entire report for your records. Down below, you'll see the detailed call statistics, which will have every phone number that was called, the duration of the call, how many attempts we made to reach that recipient, and then the overall status, whether it was a live answer or a voicemail that picked up the phone. Click on the Reports tab at the top to go back to the main reports page. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the text message broadcast report will look like. Click on the broadcast name and now you will see the statistics for your text message broadcast that just went out. In addition to everything we covered today, Dial My Calls offers a plethora of premium features that can be added to your account. Two of our most popular features are our vanity phone numbers and two-way text messaging. Vanity phone numbers allow users to register a unique phone number to use as their caller ID. This is a great service to use if you don't want to use your personal phone number when sending out voice broadcast. Two-way text messaging allows users to not only read replies that they get back from their text message broadcast, but they can quickly and easily hold one-on-one -on -one conversations via text message right from their Dial My Calls account. When signing up for two-way texting, users will get a 10-digit phone number to utilize for text messaging rather than having to use our shared shortcode and a keyword when sending out text broadcast. If you have any questions regarding what was covered today, our additional features, or your account in general, please contact our support staff at 800-928-2086 or email us at support at dialmycalls.com. We have staff here seven days a week and we are ready to help you out with any questions you may have. Thank you and have a great day.